Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and in today's video we are going to be looking at new makeup releases number two. So these are going to be ones that came out since my last video and everything. So let's take a look. First we're going to start looking at the Instagram for Trend Mood 1 and I will have the links to all of the Instagram pages where I'm pulling up these new makeup releases listed down below in my description box. And if you look at my description box, you will also see the coffee of the day in which how I've had my coffee and how I prepare it and everything. So be sure to check it out, all my coffee lovers. <laughs> so without, with that being said, let's get into this, shall we? So looking at Trimmood One's Instagram page, we see that there are new collab with Urban Decay collabing with Smiley with two six pan eyeshadow palettes. And let's just take a look at these. I have to say, I like the decoration of the um, packaging and everything like that. I think it's kind of cool for Urban Decay. And I like the color stories in it personally. I know Urban Decay has a tendency to really lean with more neutral and natural colors and not really jumping into like colors or anything like that. So it's a welcome surprise to see, you know, some pops of color and everything like that mixed in. So looking back at these, I have to say I, I like them and everything, um, but I have a lot, I have these colors and everything in a multitude of different palettes in my collection because I'm a very big makeup enthusiast. So I have a rather large makeup collection. So these are going to be a pass for me on putting it on my makeup um, wish list and everything. But if you're interested, hey, check them out. They should be, they're going to be coming soon to Urban Decay's website and Sephora. So keep a lookout. Next, we're going to be looking at, um, this is available only in Europe. It's a new collaboration between Matt Cosmetics and Richard Quinn. And it looks like we're, they're having some different lipsticks, a highlighter, a blush bronzer kind of combo, and an eyeshadow palette and their fix plus and also maybe like an eyeliner so let's take a look at these colors these are beautiful i love the shades especially with spring coming up and everything this peachy one is really climb my name and i love the vibrancy of this like fuchsia pink gorgeous just gorgeous and i mean you can't go wrong with a neutral you know pinky tone and everything so yeah so if you're living in europe and everything definitely check these out I love the embossment on this highlighter. Yeah, I don't know how that highlighter would show up though on my fair to fair light light skin tone and everything. So, um, but yeah. Now the eyeshadow palette, hmm, I don't know if it's just me, but I personally do not like this polka dot white background around the eyeshadow pans and everything. I find it very distracting personally. Um, but as far as the colors go, I think it's pretty nice and it's pretty on point with like the packaging on the outside and for spring coming up and everything. So I can't fault it that, but the polka dots, I don't know. It just kind of bothers me a little bit. And here you see swatches of the colors of the eyeshadows. To me, they look a little more on the paler kind of pastel side and everything with this really dark black. So I'm not sure. Hmm the juxtaposition of it and everything. I do think these will appear much better. Um, in my personal opinion, these the, these look like they show up much better on, you know, deeper tan to deep uh, skin tones and everything. So if you're in that range and everything like that, this might be a good, you know, collaboration, collection for you to pick up and everything. Especially if you are a fan of MAC Cosmetics and their quality. But I just don't really see these for my skin tone of being more fair. I just, I don't know. I just, it just appears really lackluster to me. So, but hey, you know, if it, this, you know, kind of uh, gets you excited, hey, check it out. It'll be uh, available in Europe and it'll be coming soon to US, but not sure when. And then here are the price down breakdowns of each product. Next looks like coming in Europe, there is going to be a new Guerlain Terracotta Le Tint foundation 
And if I mispronounce that, I do apologize. <laughs> I did try my best. <laughs> but it looks like this is going to be a perfect uh, perfection of a foundation, lightness and radiance of a powder. It's a long wearing for 24 hours and without transfer, light texture, airy formula, coverage medium to full in 30 shades. So let's take a look. Okay, yeah. Looks like it has a decent, you know, shade range and everything like that. I would love to see deeper, deeper shades um, available in this foundation. I will say that right off the bat. I feel like it could go deeper. Um, but overall, 30 shades, I think it's a kind of a decent one and everything. Yeah. Here's a little bit more breakdown. I think if I were to get a shade, I would probably, I think I would probably be in like the one N, maybe one C range here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it doesn't say anything on this coming to the, oh, coming soon to the U.S. So yeah, um, this might be something to kind of check out and everything. I definitely want to check out more reviews and everything of a fellow YouTube uh, beauty gurus and everything like that to see kind of what their take on and reviews are of this product but yeah it's it's kind of a question mark for me whether i'm going to put it on my wish list or not so let's check out the next one next we have the pushing <laughs> the pushing kitty <laughs> um so this bundle is coming it's a collaboration with spectrum collections and pushing and it looks like it was available starting February 23rd. So I'm not sure if any of these products are going to be still available and everything, but hey, maybe check it out and everything. I like the decor of the brushes though. Those are pretty cute. Yeah. If I were to get anything, oh, that's so cute with the pop print on the, on the bristles. Um, if I were to get anything from this collection, it would definitely have to be this Pusheen make a bag. I mean, come on, you know, um, anything else? Mm, not really, but that bag. Oh, maybe the sponges. Those are cute too. Um, so yeah, those would be the things that I would put on my wish list. But for me, this is a no, it's a pass for me. Next Dominique cosmetics. They are coming out with a smooth and blur setting powder. Um, looks like it's going to be new shade and restock for them. And it's a soft focus setting powder infused with hyaluronic acid to lock in moisture and keep your makeup in place. Long wearing formula mattifies without clogging your pores, leaving you with a smooth and blurred flawless finish now in pink. Rosita, $22, $22 vegan and cruelty free. This is available uh, for the restock and everything starting February 24th on their website. And yeah, looks really pretty. You know, I haven't tried much from Dominique Cosmetics and everything, but I am kind of interested in trying out maybe something new, maybe a setting powder. So this is a question mark again to put on my wish list. Next, it looks like Catrice is coming out with a collaboration with My Little Pony. It's consisting of a highlighter, an eyeshadow palette, lip and cheek activator, brush set and bag, and nail lacquer. This is going to be coming soon to their website and other retailers. So let's just take a cuter look at this. Okay, it's taking me back to my childhood with My Little Pony and everything, especially the retro look of the My Little Pony and everything. Um, this is going to be a pass for me. It's nothing really that gets me excited or anything like that. And I have these colors and everything in my collection, so it's a pass. Looks like Pixie is coming out with a Sun Treats SPF 50 Makeup Fixing Mist. It's an invisible broad spectrum SPF 50, which protects, hydrates, and soothes the skin. Use under or over makeup. It's rich in natural botanicals, antioxidants, and vitamins, and will protect you from the sun, and it provides maximum skin benefits. And it's priced at $15. It um, looks like it's available now, and yeah. Might be something to kind of check out. I haven't really had any Pixie products or anything like that. I use other things for skincare and whatnot. So this is a pass for me for going on my um, <laughs> wish list. 
Ooh, say that. Uh, this is a pass for me going on my wish list, but maybe something for you guys to check out. Looks like Loved number one. Coming to CVS, it's a new skincare brand by John Legend. It's a melanin-focused skincare and body care brand. First launch will include an exfoliating cleanser, face and body moisturizer, face and body oil, face and body wash, shave cream, and toning mints. And toning mist. And I have to say, these are pretty well priced and everything too for these products. So I don't know, this might be something really cool to check out and everything like that. Um, I think that's a great brand that's going into CVS and everything since CVS is such a huge, you know, franchise. Um, and the price points, like I said, are priced right. So yeah, this is something cool to check out and everything. So um, it's uh, going to be a question mark for me right now. I might pick up one or two things to try on later on, but I don't know. Um, yeah, kind of a question mark right now, but yep. Next up, it looks like we have, which is available at Sephora, um, looks like the Dyson extension, or accessories rather, um, are available. The Tom Rose Pink Quad is available. And then it looks like Dominique Cosmetics, their Essentials one is available as well. To get closer look here at the Tom Ford again, which I do believe we went over last time in this lip color. It's a really pretty shade. I think it's very flattering on all kind of skin tones and everything as well. Ooh, a little bit more sultry. I think this one really appeals with appeals to me a lot more than the other co color. And you can never go wrong with a good neutral palette. <laughs> you know? And I have to say, I think that Dominique Cosmetics, they have like, I think these might be a little bit larger um, the pans too, to where you can also use it maybe as like a blush or like a contour bronzer kind of action and everything. So this might be a good option, you know, to check out and everything too, if you're especially looking for maybe a kind of a semi one and all, you know, kind of palette. Next, it looks like there's a new Very Valentino 24 hour wear hydrating concealer. It's a multi use, creamy, lightweight concealer that delivers medium coverage and brightens skin's radiance for a creaseless finish that lasts all day. It's priced at $35 in 20 shades, and it's coming soon. And I have to say, I'm intrigued by the Valentino foundation, which I have not tried yet, but it's on my makeup wish list. And I'm also intrigued to try out this concealer as well when it comes out so this is definitely going to be something that's going on my makeup wish list so oh lord i have to say i think hmm. yeah i think there could have been some work here with the concealer shades though is it just me or it doesn't seem like there's very much difference here in the light you know it could have been I don't know. I, I just think it could have been like a little bit more extended, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I just... Hmm. But yeah, this is one that's going on my... Okay. I guess, I mean, it's kind of a decent one looking overall. I still think it could have went dark and deeper though. Um, possibly. Just by like a couple shades at least. Um, and I think it kind of went lighter too. Yeah, because, I don't know, my really pale, fair girls. I think it could have went sh lighter too by a shade, at least. But anyways, this is going to go on my makeup wish list. And yeah, we're just going to kind of leave it there. Next up, Pro Fusion Cosmetics. They are coming out with their Empowered Butterfly Collection, which is available now. And I know Pro Fusion is carried at Walmart. So it looks like this collection is consisting of a Spirit 25 shade palette, a mousse blush, and Painted Lady Monarch color. It's also having a soft matte lip cream set, a glassy lip gloss set, a repair and hydrate lip mask, a lash set, a mystical butterfly face stickers. Mm. <laughs> That's how I feel about the face stickers. Dazzling Wings Liquid Shimmer Eyeliner. Take flight and just wing it colors. 
So let's take a look at this. So here's that butterfly mousse blush. I'll paint a lady in monarch colors. And this is the this is the soft matte lip cream set. The lip gloss set. And here's the eyeshadow palette. The eyeliners. The eyelashes. Wow, there's just a lot going on there <laughs> with those bejewels and the eye eyelashes. Yeah, this is a pass for me. Um, like I said, I have these colors a lot in my collection. And just, I think it's and just too big of a palette for me personally. I, I like the palettes. I'm leaning more towards the ones that are a little bit smaller and everything too as well. So definite pass for me. Next up, it looks like there's a new collaboration between Wet n Wild and Sesame Street. It's going to be consisting of an eyeshadow palette, a makeup bag, multi-stick set, makeup sponge and case, a hand mirror, face palettes, glosses, headband, banana loose setting powder, glitter gel, lipsticks, face mist, lip mask and lip scrub, a sticker sheet, and a brush set. And it's going to be available at Walmart. I have to say, this is cute though, with Cookie Monster on the package of the hand mirror. That's pretty cute. And of course, Big Bird for banana powder. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Cookie Monster eyelash curler. Yeah, these are cute and everything, but to me, it's just a little too kitty for me. Um, but it's cute. Especially if you're a fan of Sesame Street and everything, it might be cute, you know, to check out and everything. But for me, it's a pass. Next, there is a new scent coming to Sol de Janeiro. It's the Rio Radiance Fragrance. It's going to be the Solar Tuberose and Leite de Coco Perfume Mist. It's coming soon on their website. So keep your, keep your eye out for it, guys, if, especially if you're a fan of the Sol de Janeiro line. For me, I think this is going to be a pass. Tatcha is coming out with their new Silk Serum. It's a wrinkle smoothing serum. It's coming soon. It'll be available on their website and at retailers. And yes, I mean, Tatcha, I think they just kill it in the skincare game and everything like that with just their products and their packaging. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. So this intrigues me. It's a question mark. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on my wish list or not, but yeah, so it's going to be a, a question mark for now. Next Tarte is coming out and they're expanding their Shape Tape line and they are coming out with their sidekick of new Shape Tape color correctors in a multitude of colors. It's going to be green, neutralizing to correct appearance of redness, hyperpigmentation, and blemishes for all skin tones. Orange, neutralizes and conceals the look of dark under eyes and discoloration for medium to deep skin, cone, skin tones. Pink, which brightens to conceal the look of dark spots, offsets dullness for all skin tones. Peach, which neutralizes to correct the look of under eyes and discoloration for fair to medium skin tones. Red, which neutralizes to correct the look of dark under eyes and discoloration for deep skin tones. And yellow, which brightens to offset dullness, neutralizes to conceal the look of mild redness for all skin tones. Looks like these are available now in those six shades. And I like how it breaks it down over here for how each color, you know, could be used for whatever you need for your own color correction and everything. This I will have to say, I want to put one or two on my wish list. So definitely going to be checking these out and adding to my wish list. Next, Super Goop is coming out with their new body SPF 40 lotion. It's a body version of the Unseen Sunscreen which is 100% invisible, weightless, scentless body sunscreen with broad spectrum of SPF and skincare benefits. It's silky, nourishing, more glidable gel formula, moisturizing and fast absorbing. absorbing. It will be available March 1st on their website and at Ulta. And I'm just gonna say this is gonna be a question mark and everything. I might put this on my wish list. Or, well, actually, I'm gonna put this on my wish list. Um, I haven't tried the Super Goop Face One, but I am currently testing out the Elf version dupe for the Super Goop um, Face SPF and everything. So, 
yeah, I think this is one that I might put on my wish list. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'll just kind of leave it there. Next from Mac in Europe right now available is the Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. Everywhere All Over Face Pen, it's a new concealer and foundation hybrid. Provides 36 hours, 36 hours of coverage. It conceals, brightens, and evens the tone. It's lightweight, flexible, and won't crease or cake. It's medium to full buildable coverage with a natural finish while being waterproof. It's coming soon to the US, but currently available now in Europe. Okay, let's take a look here. Again, is it just me or just, I feel like, I feel like the range could have been at least one to two shades lighter for my really fair pale girls. And it could have been at least three shades deeper and darker for my for my girls there. Just because this is said to be a hybrid of a new concealer and foundation. So if you are someone who wants to use this as foundation and everything, you're gonna want it being a deeper deeper shades available to you. And if you're a fair, lighter girl, you're gonna wanna have it and a few shades lighter as well. So I think that might have to be worked out and everything a little bit, but yeah, this is kind of an intriguing where you can use it as a face concealer and foundation hybrid. And 36 hours coverage, I mean, no one's wearing their makeup that long. So <laughs> let's be real, <laughs> come on. Um, it's interesting and everything. I don't know if I'll be checking it out. So yeah. I don't know. We'll see if it when it comes to the US if I change my mind of putting it on my wish list or not, but right now it's a pass. Next up, Maybelline is coming out with their new The Falsy Surreal Extensions Mascara. It's available now. It's 36% length and surreal impact with 10 times the volume. It's introducing its hybrid fiber technology, a mix of fibers of different sizes up to three millimeters and its extended helix brush, which loads lashes from root to tip up to 24 hour wear, clump resistant, as well as smudge, flake, and smear resistant. It's a vegan formula priced at $9.99. Hmm. Um, I'm kind of intrigued, but I have to say, I'm not usually a fan of the mascaras which have this kind of a bristle um, on them and everything. I like a little bit more of the skinnier, shorter bristled ones. I feel like you have more control with them and everything and also if you get like a brand new mascara i find like it's easier to use it especially when you know that brand new <laughs> the brand new packaging when you open it and everything it's going to be quite wet so um that's why i just personally like those bristles better but i mean this is interesting and everything i might try it out just to kind of see if i like it or not so yeah i'll put this on the plan on <laughs> Not the planner wish list. I will put this on my makeup wish list. Next available now, it is a collaboration between Sigma Beauty and Kristen Dominique, who is the owner of Dominique Cosmetics. And it's a six brush set, con including a face contour, eye and, eye, eye and nose contour, all over face powder brush, setting powder brush, brighten and bake brush, and an angled cheek. These are beautiful, beautiful set and everything. Spoiler alert, I did purchase these and everything and I did receive them and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that they feel and everything. It has this kind of like matte kind of metal kind of feel to them and everything like that. And they just feel quite luxe. So, and plus you can't go wrong with the Sigma, Sigma Beauty. Uh, their quality of their brushes are just astounding. So. I would recommend these if you're looking for maybe trying out a new set from Sigma Beauty or if you've never tried Sigma Beauty before, their brushes, I would definitely highly recommend. Looks like new from Essence, they are coming out with their Blooming Bright Collection. It's going to be consisting of an eyeshadow and eyeliner palette in See Me Bloomin', a fine eyeliner brush, a blush lighter and Bloom With Me, lip glow stick in Smiling Bright and Bloom Up colors and bright and ready to roll mattifying stone roller, as well as a flawlessly bright makeup sponge. This will be available sometime in March on their website. So keep a lookout, guys. 
this is gonna be a pass for me i have these colors and lipsticks and i don't need another <laughs> sponge right now at this moment and i have all of these colors in my collection as well so for me this is a pass next up available now there is a new perfume bloom intense for her eau de perfume from gucci it intensifies the gucci bloom white floral blend with added sensuality the top notes are jasmine sunback middle notes are rangoon creeper and bottom notes are tuberose lady of the night i have to say i love the gucci perfumes um the one in particular that i like and have is the Glu gucci flora and the Gucci Flora perfume, I have to say, it is kind of floral, but at the same time, there are other notes and everything that kind of give it like a kind of sexier, lighter kind of scent and everything to it. So this is one that I'm definitely gonna be putting on my wish list to go in the store and, you know, try out and everything to see if I like it. And if I like it, I'm probably gonna purchase it. So definitely going on my wish list. Next, there is a new perfume, Balaya Ada Perfume, um, with, hmm, by De Marley. Um, it has accomplished the challenge of capturing the scent of the skin caressed by a veil of cotton to convey the power of femininity. It's a floral, musky, woody top notes of bergamot, mandarin, and white peach. Heart notes of orange flower, mahonial, nymphial, vetiver, and base notes of echagala wood, ambrofix, and vanilla. I'm not sure if this one would appeal to me. Um, kind of, kind of interested. Not sure. So this is going to, going to be a question mark for me. Um, definitely will have to like test it out in the store and everything to see if I like it. But right now, question mark. The packaging, though, I have to say, is just gorgeous. I mean, that's a beautiful packaging for this perfume. Yeah. Next up, new is the Blush Book Pressed Palette made by Mitchell. And I do know that this is currently sold out and everything. Um, it went fast apparently, but maybe keep your eye out and everything for a possible restock and everything. But it looks like it has like a total of 12 shades, six on the left, six on the right. And it is a 12 pan palette of pressed blusher with all your faves on the go and five brand new shades. So if you are new to Made by Mitchell, this could be a good one to pick up and everything to try out all different sorts of blush colors. And if you are a fan of Made by Mitchell, you can receive five new shades. So definitely keep your lookout for it and everything to see when it might be restocked or, you know, provided by like a pre-order and everything. But yeah, this is a pass for me. I'm not a big fan of a lot of these orangey shades. One or two of the orange shades, yes, appeal to me kind of, but the rest of them not so much. So this is a pass for me. And oh boy, another new collection from ColourPop. It is their heavy metals, heavy petals collection, sorry. It's going to have a heavy petal pressed powder palette. Wow, I'll say that three times fast. A cheek Dew Serum Blushes, Flower Delivery, a Warm Nude with a Golden Sheen, Spring Flush Color, and True Peach with Golden Sheen, Dream Garden, which is Warm Pink with Golden Sheen, and Petal Up, a Soft Berry with Silver Pink Sheen. The Lux Lipsticks, Fleur U, which is a Soft Pinky Peach, Pink Bouquet, a Midtone Warm Rosy Pink, Bloom, Bloom Time, which is a Pinky Terracotta, and Tulip Season, Cool Toned Red Wine. And last but not least, it includes a 4th Ray Beauty Rose Softening Face Milk. These will be available starting March 2nd at 10 a.m. PST on their website. So mark your calendars if this collection interests you and everything. As for me, it is a hard pass. I have these colors over and over again. So for me, it's a pass. I think the thing only from this collection that kind of intrigues me is the 4th Ray Beauty Rose Softening Face Milk. Um, that might be something that I want to put it like question mark on my plan on my wish list. New from Fenty Skin is the Melt AWF Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. It's a unique jelly texture that transforms into a lightweight oil, breaks down long wear and waterproof makeup, sunscreen, dirt, oil, and impurities. 
Features a luxe blend of nine oils to condition while cleansing, rinses quickly and easily, no residue left behind, hydrates, nourishes, and leaves skin feeling silky smooth. Features a light spa water inspired scent from the natural oils in the formula. This is going to be available March 7th on their website and Sephora. So this is going on my makeup wish list. I love like the melting balms and those kind of, you know, type of, you know, um, cleaning products for, you know, melting away the makeup away from the day. So this is going to be something I definitely want to try out and everything. So will definitely be on my wish list. All right, new from Clé de Peau Beauty. It's gonna be their new lip products. It's going to be a cream rouge matte lipstick, which is a luxurious soft matte liquid lipstick with a rich creamy formula, it's long lasting. Also having a cream rouge shine lipstick, which is a rich cream formula for brilliantly shiny, long lasting, with a radiant glazed finish and rich color. And a cream rouge sparkles liquid lipstick, which has a rich gel cream texture for an irresistible sheen, dewy luster, dazzling iridescence, and shine. Okay, and these are available now. Really pretty, but I have, again, I have these in my collection and everything. They don't really speak to me, but if you're interested, definitely check it out and everything, but for me, it's gonna be a pass. Next, it's gonna be a limited edition lipstick cases and lipsticks from Dior. These are beautiful cases, I have to say. <laughs> so these are gonna be coming soon. They're gonna be coming onto their websites and through retailers. And I really like this a lot, actually. I think, you know, I haven't had a Dior lipstick and everything, but I have to say, I might wanna pick up one, one of these in a case. So I'm definitely gonna be putting this on my wish list. And the one right now I can tell you off the bat that's speaking to me is probably gonna be colors 412 and 521. And the packaging that's really interesting to me is this kind of um, pink mauve color. I really like that one. I think that's really pretty. So yeah, these are gonna be going on my wish list. Next from Iconic London, it is a new Roll Away Glow Highlighter. Interesting, okay. Anybody remember you know, aging myself here a little bit, <laughs> but anybody remember the rollerball kind of, um, you know, perfumes and I know they're still out and everything, but also the lip glosses and everything. This is kind of what's reminded me of and everything. I'm kind of intrigued by the champagne color, but I, I, my only concern is if this would lift up any of your, you know, if you use like a powder foundation, if that would lift it up or how, or even if you have a liquid foundation, I hope it just doesn't pull it up or anything like that. But I'm kind of intrigued by it, but I'm gonna wait and hold off and hear some feedbacks from people to see about their reviews and everything. And if they're positive, I might put this on my wish list. But for now, it's a pass. Next, it looks like there's a strawberry shortcake collection. It looks like it's in collaboration with Honeydew. Not sure who that is but it is available now and it's going to have five eyeshadow and pressed pigment palettes priced at 38 each. Each one has 14 shades and a different scent. The strawberry shortcake palette has a berry sweet strawberry scent. The orange blossom palette has a berry sweet orange scent and the lemon meringue palette has a berry sweet vanilla scent. And last, the huckleberry pie palette has a berry sweet blueberry scent. Now these are pretty cute and everything. I have to say the cartoon characters and everything like that of the strawberry shortcake, they really appeal to me because me when I was growing up, I had a strawberry shortcake girl. <laughs> and I mean, there she is, look at her. And I do believe I even remember having a strawberry shortcake bike. <laughs> so to me, this really is cute and nostalgic to me and everything, but oh, I don't know. I'm tempted to get one of them of, of the strawberry shortcake just for the fact of I grew up having, you know, strawberry shortcake and everything. So I might pick up one of these, I have to say. So this is going to be a maybe that I'll put on my wish list and everything, but it's super cute. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> Comment down below. 
Next up, there is going to be another new collection from MAC Cosmetics. It's their new Perlescence Ramadan collection. It is consisting of an eyeshadow palette with 12 shades, an extra dimension trio, lipsticks and colors Velvet Teddy, Mauve Over, Set in Stone, and Hidden Treasure, lip liners in colors Chicory, Boldly Bare, Whirl, and Spice, and a color excess gel liner and a dual ended brush, as well as their Fix Prep and Prime Face Mist. So this is gonna be coming soon to their website and retailers. And I have to say, the packaging, gorgeous. If I were to pick up anything from this collection, mm, it's a pass on the eyeshadow palette just because I have those colors. It's a pass on this um, Extra Dimension Trio palette. I'm kind of tempted to get at least one of their lipsticks because I haven't picked up or had a lipstick from MAC in so long that I'm kind of intrigued about maybe picking up the Velvet Teddy color, which I do believe is this first one. Um, yeah, I'm kind of intrigued by that. So yeah, I might just put the Velvet Teddy one on my wish list and everything. So yeah. Next up, it's new eyeshadow palette called the Italian Spritz Lake Como Cocktail. And it is from Too Faced, and it looks like they're going back into their tin palette. Yay! And I say yay for the tin pan and everything palette because I think it was like their last two, I wanna say maybe their last two, maybe three palettes that they've kind of released and everything were like the long kind of skinny ones, but in the cardboard packaging. And I think the quality of the Too Faced eyeshadows that you get that come in the 10 palettes for whatever reason I think those are the better quality ones so if you are new to Too Faced or you are a Too Faced fan and everything comment down below if you agree with me on that um but yeah this is kind of a maybe it's a question mark for me because I do have a soft spot in my heart for Too Faced especially their 10 metal palettes so this is a this is a maybe for me no, nope, scratch that. It's going to be going on my <laughs> wish list. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get those at some point and everything, but it will be going on my wish list. Next up, it looks like there is a new Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray from Milk Makeup. It says it's lock, it locks on makeup up to 16 hours, helps blur pores and control shine for a soft focus finish, sprays evenly, sets quickly, it's non-drying, non-sticky, and it has a lentil extract, which helps control shine, niacinamide, which helps minimize the look of pores, and bocachiol, which helps smooth and even skin. It's coming soon to their website and retailers. And this kind of intrigues me. Um, I do have, I mean, I have to say it's pricey, but I absolutely swear by it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. I absolutely love that so much. Um, I tend to get it only when it's on sale. <laughs> through Sephora and everything when they're having one of their VIB sales. I think that's the best time for me to pick it up. Um, I'm not sure if I want to pick this one up and everything. I actually tend to prefer more of a radiant type, you know, finish to my makeup and everything. So I'm not sure if I want to try this out because it leaves like a matte setting spray, but it might be something to kind of check out and everything. So this is a question mark for me. Next up, new from Charlotte Tilbury, is their new Magic Body Cream. It's hydrating, smoothing, firming effect body cream with caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and algative uplift for a nourished, radiant body glow. It's coming soon to their website and retailers. And I have to say, this intrigues me. I know Charlotte Tilbury has kind of a pricey, hefty, you know, price tag and everything. Um, especially because so many people swear by her magic cream for like the face moisturizer and everything. So I'm not sure. This is a question mark just because of, to be honest, the price for me. So yeah, it's just going to be a question mark. Next up, there is a new Stray Birds collection. Looks like it's from Shell, Shell We Makeup and it's going to be 12 shades. It's a bundle of 12 pieces, including a free acrylic magnetic palette. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It will be available March 8th on their website. So, 
yeah, this might be something kind of cool to um, and interesting to try out. It's a question mark for me. I'm not sure if I would really check this out. Um, I currently have on my my makeup wish list, which is kind of similar to this, is the Dinesa Myricks. Um, she has like this pressed pigment metallic kind of, um, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but anyways, it gives me those kind of vibes and everything. So I have that on my wish list currently, so this is going to be a pass for me. And here's another picture of that Too Faced palette of Italian Spritz Lake Como Cocktail. That's just beautiful. Yeah. That's definitely going on my list. Yep. <laughs> and it looks like there's another celebrity brand coming out by Vanessa Hudgens. I don't know. I'm kind of getting over and tired of all these celebrities coming out with brands. Uh, I don't know, especially in the beauty realm. What are your guys' things and everything? Um, this is going to be a pass for me, but anyways, if you're interested, <laughs> it'll be available starting March 15th at 6am PST on their website. So if you are planning on buying and trying out her brand and everything, comment down below, share with the group and everything. No judgment, you know, every to everything is to everyone's own personal taste and everything. It's a pass for me. Looks like Killian, they're coming out with a new perfume. It's going to be the Blue Moon Gender Dash. It's inspired by Killian Hennessy's summer cocktail, the cult beachside party drink from the 90s. Blue Lagoon, a mix of lemon, vodka, and blue carousel liquor. Woo! For a whopping $230. Uh, notes of lemon, cologne, vodka, accord, ginger, and ambroxan. It's coming soon to their website and retailers. And this, for the price alone, is a pass for me. But yeah i have to pass on it um but i will say i've heard really great things about the killian brand especially of their perfumes and everything so many people swear by them so if this is in your price range if you are kind of interested in it check it out guys it's going to be coming soon looks like there is going to be a new catrice and disney collaboration collections it's available now in europe it's going to be the jungle book collection and the lion king collection and yeah, and coming soon to other retailers somewhere after that. Um, it's cute. It's really neutral. Everything's really, really new. Well, okay. I will say that the Jungle Book eyeshadow palette kind of intrigues me. I'm, you know how I feel about green, guys. Absolutely love green. I mean, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I have to say the Jungle Book collection intrigues me more than the Lion King one, sadly. Um, because I'm more of a fan of the Lion King movie and story than I am of the Jungle Book, but... Yeah, I have to say the Jungle Book's collection actually looks much better um, than the Lion King one, so... If I were to pick up anything, it would be something from the Jungle Book, but for me it's a pass. Next up, IT Cosmetics is coming out with Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer and Serum. It's going to provide instant medium coverage and 24 hours of hydration. Visibly improves over time the look of bare skin. It's developed with dermatologists and plastic surgeons. Fades the look of dark spots, fine lines, dark circles under eyes, and uneven skin texture. With a trio of 2% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and caffeine. Has a lightweight creamy texture, bellable medium coverage with a natural finish. It's coming at 18 shades, priced at $30, and it is available now. And let's take a look, shall we? Uh, okay, 18 shades, it cosmetics, you can do better. Um, for me, I think any brand coming out, especially like larger ones, 30 shades or to 32 should actually be minimum, in my personal opinion. Um, yeah, but I have heard really great things about the IT Cosmetics, other, you know, skin products of their foundations and their concealers and everything from other people. Um, I am a huge fan. I think it's IT Cosmetics. I think IT Cosmetics has the CC cream, which I love. So, yeah, this might be something that I might want to try and everything. It's going to be a question mark for me, but I really feel like they could have done better with their shade range and... For now, it's a question mark, and I'm just going to leave it there. 
Okay, so from Trendstopia 2 Instagram page, it looks like there is a brand, this brand always has delightful artwork and unique concepts that are so nostalgic. It's the brand Night City and it's their mecha winged two-in-one eyeliner stamp, crystal face and hair gems, which are self-adhesive, and a heart eyes stamp marker. This is a pass for me, guys. None of these really intrigue me, but um, no, I, I would get absolutely no use out of this. But I think it's cute, especially for like younger, um, younger folks and everything, especially if you're going out to like maybe a you know, festival or for kids at like a birthday party and everything could be kind of cute and fun. So yeah, but for me, it's a pass. All right, looks like Caroline Herrera, she is coming out with a new perfume called the Good Girl Blush. It has the notes of top of bergamot mandarin, middle notes of ylang ylang, and base notes of vanilla absolute tonka bean. Scent is described as an explosion of femininity. I will say I have tried out Carolina Herrera's a uh, couple of other other good girl uh, perfumes before. Absolutely love them. So to me, this is going on my wish list and everything to try out and everything. So yeah, I'll see it in store if, if I really like it. I'm picking it up. So right now it's going on my wish list. Looks like there's a new skincare brand called Neon Hippie. And Neon Hippie, which is a new skincare brand, has launched an, oh boy, it's colorful. <laughs> um, looks like the Mighty Mushroom. Hmm. Okay, so more specifically, it's a proprietary blend called Seven Shroom Complex. Hmm. Okay. Looks like it's coming out with some different kind of products here. Looks like an aura cleanser. Okay, so it's coming out with a, a cleanser, a flower serum, or face oil, a lucid lip, neon C vitamin C serum, and a peptide cream shroom complex cream, and a super luxe face oil. Yeah. This is a pass for me, but I definitely want to hear other people's kind of reviews and everything on these products and this brand. Um, but yeah, for me, it's a pass. Okay, so it's revealed that Paul and Joe Butte, uh, their summer 2023 collection, it's consisting of two shades on their cat lippies, their eye blush palettes, which are going to be two different ones and five shades of nail polishes. I have not heard of this brand. Um, kind of interesting and everything. I have to say, the bullets on the lipsticks, cute. I mean, that's pretty cute. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just let I me mean, look at that. That's pretty cute. Um, yeah, the palettes and everything themselves, the colors, they're nice and everything. I have them already in my collection, so it's a pass for me on those. And I already also have these colors in my nail polishes, so also a pass for me. So overall, all of it's going to be a pass for me, except maybe, maybe I would be intrigued by picking up one of the lipsticks. Maybe this like uh, kind of pinkish fuchsia color, but everything else is a pass. So question mark on that lipstick for me. And it looks like it's going to be launching in April in Japan, uh, but not sure when it's going to be available in the USA. So... Mm, okay, so right, I guess that makes it I, I pass in total for me. So yeah. Okay, Be Perfect Cosmetics. They're coming out with their Chroma Cover Luminous Foundation. It's medium with buildable coverage. Has a luminous finish formulated with rosehip, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid. Comes in 36 shades with a pump to dispense. And it's available now on their website. Now that's what I'm talking about. Coming out with 36 shades of foundation. Fantastic. Yeah. That's, that's great. I mean, I think Fenty really set the bar when they came out with like 40 in their, in their initial foundation launch and everything. I think that was great. So yeah, this is a really nice range um, of the colors and everything like that. Yeah, I like that. This 
kind of intrigues me. I think I'm going to be putting, yeah, I think I'm going to put this on my wish list too. Um, I always like trying out foundations and everything like that. And I haven't tried anything from Be Perfect as far as uh, foundations and everything. So I'm intrigued to try out their found, one of their foundations. And this new one might be something that sounds like right up my alley, especially because it has like a luminous finish. Um, and that really appeals to me and everything. So, and especially on my more mature skin, I think, you know, it just works really well. So this is going on my wish list to try out. Okay, it looks like there is a new strawberry milk powder collection from Deseek. Um, it's coming out with a blusher palette, an 18 shade eye palette, blur lip tints, glitter toppers, and a nail polish. And it's initially available in Asia, but will likely make its way to the USA over the next few months through third party sellers. So keep your eyes on it, guys, um, to see for us in, here in the US if we want to take, if you want to, if this interests you and everything. But this is really pretty. I think it's a soft, you know, kind of neutral, kind of, you know, um, tones and everything like that perfect for spring and if you are into the, like the more minimalistic looking kind of makeup this is perfect I think especially if you don't have like um one of these types of like palettes or anything this could be good size and everything and it doesn't look too large which is nice too you know so it'll be easier for like traveling with or storage or anything like that so yeah keep your eyes out guys for it if you're interested but for me I have these colors in my collection so it's a pass Okay, looks like Joe Malone, they're coming out with Little Garden Spring 2023 collection. Looks like four different colognes, and it's going to be coming out with Nashi Blossom, which is this one right here. It has the top notes of lemon, heart notes of Nashi Blossom, base notes of white musk. Then we have Water Lily, which the top notes are Neroli, heart notes of Water Lily, and base notes of white musk. Star Magnolia, which the top notes are Lemon, Shiso, Ginger, Heart Notes of Magnolia, Neroli, and Base Notes of Amber and Cedar, and Osmanthus Blossom, Top Notes of Petite Grain, Heart Notes of Osmanthus Blossom, and Base Notes of Cashmere Wood. Looks like they're going to be priced, or you can get the Trio Discovery set for $58, or you can get each um, one by itself for $72. These are all available now through Joe Malone and I think Sephora. If not already at Sephora, it should be coming soon to Sephora because um, so Sephora, I know, carries Joe Malone products. But for any of the, you guys, if you're wanting to try out a new brand or a new perfume or anything like that, I highly recommend the discovery sets or the gift sets and everything. It's a great way to check out perfumes and things like that. So the packaging, top notch. Love it, love, love it. Simplistic, minimalistic, would look great on your you know, dresser stand, your makeup stand, what have you. Absolutely beautiful. So I think I'd want to definitely pick up the Discovery set. So that is going to be the part that goes on my wish list. So, yeah. Okay, and it looks like Sugar Drizzle, they are coming out with Sugary Sweet Loose Setting Powders, priced at $14 each. It's a soft focus matte finish that helps control oil and shine. It's translucent sugar. It's for all skin tones with a matte finish and banana sugar which is for medium skin tones that can be used to highlight olive and golden skin tones with a matte finish. It's available now, and yeah, could be something cool to check out, especially if you're more oily and everything to trans, um, excuse me, to hold in and control your oils and shine. I know if I get a little oily, it's just in my T-zone and everything. Rest of my skin is typically normal to a little bit dry in the winter time, so yeah. This is a pass for me, but if you're interested, check it out. Looks like from Suku, they're coming out with their summer 2023 polarized opal collection. There's going to be signature eye colors in Asobakari and Hika Rumai. 
And again, if I'm mispronouncing any of these, I do apologize. I'm trying my best. Um, there's also going to be two pure color blushes. Um, and this brownish one is going to be the color of Iro Madoi. And the berry one in Yume Matoi. There's marble lipsticks in two colors of Yurabini and Kasumicha. And lip treatment glosses and Tugiokyo and Machu. And three nail polishes. These are going to be coming soon, um, but they're not available in the USA. But yeah, if they become available, we'll let you know. But right now, definitely not available here in the US quite yet. I think this makes makes it look like um, the color saturation of the palette's much better here from this angle or that picture. Yeah, these are quite beautiful. Yeah, the brand intrigues me. I've had I've heard some really good things about Saku and everything, so this is gonna be one that's gonna be like a question mark and everything. And if I pick up anything from this collection, I would pick up probably this pure color blush here in the Yume Matoi. And most likely, hmm. Maybe one of these palettes, I'm thinking this one right here kind of kind of appeals to me more. So it's gonna be a question mark for me. New from Bobby Brown, it's a collaboration with Saudi storyteller and artist Bayan Yassian in a celebration of the Ramadan holiday. It's coming out with a shimmer brick compact, a luxe matte lip color and red carpet and tawny pink, a smoky eye mascara, and long wear cream shadow stick in colors golden pink and bark. It's currently available in Germany. Not sure if this is going to be available in the USA, but keep an eye out oh, for it just in case. And if it is available in the US, I will let you guys know later on. But for now, obviously it's a pass for me. New from L'Oreal Paris, it's the Infallible 24-Hour Brow Triangular Filling Pencil. It comes in seven shades. It's a gentle triangular tip, visually fills the brows for a natural finish with up to 24 hours hold. The twist-out tip of the brow liner allows you to fill the brow in a clear definition thanks to the square tip. It's available in some Europe European territories, and it's coming soon to the USA. So not quite available, but kind of intriguing. Yeah. It's a pass for me right now just because I have a few eyeliner pencils that I need to use up first and foremost, but if later on I need a new one, it might be a question mark. I might try it out later, but for now, it's a pass. And oh my gosh, here it is. Natasha Denona is dropping her Love Face palette. Priced at $62, it, con it consists of five eye shades, a cream blush, and highlighter. And yeah. Um... Yeah, you can get it available now. So if you guys have been wanting it and everything, you can purchase it through Natasha Denona's website or through Sephora or through Ulta, I do believe. Um, since, you know, Natasha Denona is sold at Ulta now. So check it out. As for me, it's going to be a pass. I have these colors among my palettes and everything. And to be honest, I haven't heard the greatest reviews of this um, palette, face palette from Natasha. So for me, it's a pass. Okay, it looks like there's another Disney collaboration. Uh, looks like it's with Mad Beauty. And here we're just gonna watch the little video here of the products. Some bath gels, some hand creams, sheet masks, loofah, perfume sticks, makeup bags, bath fizzies, cheek blushes, Reusable makeup remover pads. Lip balms. Some eye palettes. Bath and body collections. Yeah, um, I haven't heard of Mad Beauty, but I don't need any of these products, so for me, this is going to be a pass. So next up, we're taking a look here at Indie Makeup Hotspot, and they are going to be showing from their Instagram page 
The new Ace Beauté Smoky Rose Palette. It's limited edition. It has 15 shades featuring mattes and shimmers. It's retail for $38.99 USD. And it's available at Ace Beauté. And oh, okay. So sadly right now it's presently sold out. But keep your eye on out for it, guys. In, in case they have a restock. Sometimes they have a limited edition pre-stock as well. Or sorry, restock. Consisting of pre-orders and everything. So keep an eye on, out for it. If this palette interests you. Um, yeah. Next up, it looks like there's a collab between Baddest Beauties and Ashley Elliott. And it looks like it's a nine pan eyeshadow, a brush set, a highlighter, blush, and maybe like a pigmented lip gloss. Really pretty. You know, colors right and everything. And you know how I feel about the greens, guys. <laughs> the greens really speak to me and everything, but I have those colors. This one's cute too. I think this is a very cute uh, duo blush palette and everything. You have like a little bit of the softer pink, kind of mauve and then you have more of the bright, deep coral orange. I like that. And then you have your duo highlighter palette. I think these are going to be a little too dark for me, but beautiful shades nonetheless. And a very nice brush set. Very cool. Oh, with green handles. Absolutely love that. Really pretty color of that lip gloss too. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this looks like a really nice collection, guys. So if you're interested in, you know, the Badass Beauties and Ashley collab, check it out. It was available for pre-order starting February 24th. So if there's any still available, pop over to their website and everything, get on it and pre-order it. For me, it's gonna be a pass. Next up, it looks like there is a new Flirt With Me Boutique. It's the Feeling Blue eyeshadow palette with eight shades. It's coming soon. Yeah, this is a hard pass for me. Just because of the packaging alone, for one thing, I would not even know where to begin of how to store this in my makeup collection. And two, the colors don't really appeal to me at all. So for me, it's a hard pass. Okay, it looks like from Elsewhere Cosmetics, it's their Royalty Volume Number 1 palette, consisting of nine shades for 17 USD. It's available at elsewherecosmetics.com. And yeah, now see if you're going to do a blue kind of those shades like that we just saw from um, the other makeup brand and everything. This is, I think, how you you should do it and everything. It makes it a lot easier to store in your makeup collection and everything and for traveling purposes and everything. So yeah, I would say skip on the other one and pick up this one if you're, you know, wanting those kind of colors. And for me, I have these colors in my collection, so it's a pass. Next up, there is the Magical Earth Spirit Palette of nine shades. Retails for 55 pounds, approximately $68 USD. It's available for pre-order now at magicalmakeup.co.uk. And yeah, looks really pretty. Looks like maybe some duo chromes, maybe. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe trio chromes, but definitely maybe duo chromes. But I have these kind of shades in my collection, so it's a pass for me. But if you're interested, check it out, guys. Next up, I do know that this one is currently sold out, but keep your eyes open for restocks and pre-orders of the same. This is the Fantasy Cosmetica New Rogue Palette of nine pigmented shades, including five mattes and four multi-chromes. This everyone has been going gaga over and I have to say I see why. The color story, the duochromes, just the color theme, exquisite in my opinion. Love, love, love these colors. So congratulations from Fantasy Cosmetica, great job. And this is definitely going on my web, I'm sorry, my website. This is definitely going on my wish list and I'm going to be trying to pre-order this <laughs> for their restock. So yeah. And then looks like from Unearthly Cosmetics, they are having the Not in the Mood Water Liner Palette. It's, it is available. Um, it came out on February 27th at 12 p.m. EST. It retails for $30 USD. This is a pass for me. I'm not usually into like the whole water liner palettes, but 
Come on, can we talk about the packaging and the design work here? I mean, amazing. This, gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I wish it may have been something else inside the palette, and I probably would have picked it up, but I would get no use out of water liners, so it's a pass for me, but 10 out of 10 on the packaging and the design, I have to say. And also from Ace Beauté, it looks like they're coming out with a new limited edition Ultimate Sculpt Face Palette. It's going to have four creamy, ultra-blendable shades that are perfect for every sculpt, chisel, and bronze. It retails for $41.99 USD, available at acebutte.com. And for now, this is going to be a pass for me, but I have to say, this is great seeing this coming from Ace Beauté. I think the shades are absolutely really pretty and gorgeous in this face palette. Yeah, I think it's great. But for me, I already have other products and everything that I really need to work on going through. So for me, for now, it's a pass, but if I change my mind later on, it'll go on the wish list then. Looks like from a brand called DJS Unique Boutique, they are releasing the four new pressed highlighters in colors Faith, Love, Glorious, and Grace, priced at $12 USD. And it was available starting February 27th on their website of djsuniqueboutique.com. Really pretty. Yeah. I think it's really pretty colors and tones of this product and everything. I have, you know, I kind of have the colors that work for me right now. Um, in an abundance. So for now, this is a pass for me, but I might have to keep my eye out for a DJS Unique Boutique to come and see and check out what other products they have and everything. So, but with this particular products, it's a pass for now. Next up, we have a collaboration between Lady Bug Glow and Blair Dale MUA. It's the Murky Waters Eyeshadow Impressed Pigment Palette consisting of eight shades featuring four duo chrome, sparkly shifty, three mattes and one matte with sparkle, retailing for $29 USD. It's available at their Etsy store, and the palette is buildable, blendable, and cruelty-free. And yeah. And here's a breakdown of this guy, so if you guys are interested, check out their Etsy for it. For me, it's a pass. Next up, indie brand Peachy Queen Cosmetics. They are coming out with their Nashville 18 shade palette consisting of a mix of matte and shimmer. It's retailing for $27.99 USD and it's a palette inspired by the vibrant and exciting city of Nashville. This palette is a celebration of all things country music and southern charm. Quite cute. Colors do not intrigue me or call my name at all because any of these colors I do have them in my collection already, but it's a pass for me, but if you're interested, check it out. Next from Outset Beauty, there is the Sweet As Heaven 9 Shade Palette. Looks like there's eyelashes and a light up mirror. So let's take a look at this, guys. These are products that are going to be coming soon. So yeah. Now this handheld light up mirror... That's kind of cute. Okay. The eyelashes. Cute. I think the ones that intrigue me the most are fly kisses. This is a really nice nine palette. Eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I like the colors. Gives me some nice vibes of spring, but I also like that it's not so pastel. It's, you know, like deeper kind of tones for spring, so... Yeah, I can maybe get on board with that. Uh, right now, I'm gonna pass, but... I might check it out later on, but okay, so that's it from Indie Makeup Hotspot. And that, guys, wraps up our video for today. Thank you so much for joining me for what's new and makeup releases for this week. And I hope you found it helpful and interesting. And comment down below. Let me know what products you want to put on your own makeup wish list or what things are maybe a maybe, kind of intrigued you or anything. I'd love to hear more from you guys and everything. And just, you know join in with its community and everything. Let's, you know, give some feedback and everything, even if it's maybe some reviews on some of these products that you saw 
or you've tried out maybe in the past or suggestions and everything, comment down below. We'll love to hear from you guys. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and turn the bell notification on. That way you are notified of all my future and upcoming videos and everything. And as always, you guys take care of yourselves, be kind, spread some love, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.